Welcome to ECLIMU Learning Simplified and welcome to this lesson. In the previous lesson, we discussed the magnetic field around a solenoid carrying current. And we said a solenoid which is carrying current behaves like a magnet with a north pole at one end and a south pole at the other end. The north pole and south pole of this solenoid can be predicted using framing his right hand grip rule for a solenoid carrying current, which states that if you grasp a solenoid carrying current with your right hand, say that your fingers point in the direction of current in the solenoid, then your thumb will automatically point to the direction of North Pole. Now, in this lesson, we are going to discuss a simple electromagnet. And a simple electromagnet is a magnet which is obtained when we insert a soft magnetic material inside the solenoid which is carrying current. In this case, the dipoles of this soft magnetic material is going to be uh, arranged or aligned in one direction where it will have North Pole and South Pole depending on the North Pole and South Pole of the solenoid. My name is Albert. I hope you will enjoy the lesson. By the end of this lesson, I expect you to be able to define the term electromagnet, then identify the polarities of an electromagnet, and then finally, we are going to handle a few examples involving electromagnets. So the term electromagnet simply means a temporary magnet, which is made by placing a soft magnetic material, in this case, a soft ion core, inside a solenoid carrying an electric current. Remember, in this first diagram that we have here, we call this one a solenoid. And if you connect it to an electric current at its end, then it's going to behave like a magnet. And in this case, or in this uh, solenoid, if current is moving down, like in this case here in front, then it means behind this solenoid, current is moving upward. And in this case, if you grasp with your right hand, say that the fingers point in the direction of movement of this current, then this end will become North Pole and this one will become South Pole. And in this way, the, if you insert now a magnetic material or a soft magnetic material inside this solenoid, it is dipoles will be oriented in a way that the side which will be on the other end, if I can draw that material, if we insert a material like this one inside here, this end will become North Pole and this one will become South Pole. However, this magnet which will be formed through this method will be temporary because if you remove it outside of that solenoid, it gets demagnetized since we are using a soft magnetic material. So here we also have diagram 2 which represents now an iron nail which is inserted inside the solenoid. Like in this case, we have a battery which is supplying direct current and the current flows from the positive terminal to the negative terminal. So here it will move like that. Then behind up, in front here down, down like that, all through, and then here it will move uh, down like that. And then here it will move down to the, south, to the negative terminal. And in this case, if we determine the polarities of the nail or of the magnet which will be formed on this nail, we are going to grasp this conductor in such a way that the fingers point in the direction of current. In front here, the finger should point down. Then automatically in this case, this end here will become North Pole because the thumb will point there. Then this one will become South Pole. Now when you remove this nail out of this solenoid, it loses magnetism. So this is what we call an electromagnet. An electromagnet is a, is a magnet which is temporary. It's only a magnet when it's inside a mag an electric field and it loses magnetism when it is outside the electric field, in this case, a solenoid. So the polarities of an electromagnet or of a temporary magnet which is formed by inserting a soft magnetic material inside a solenoid carrying current is predicted using the framing is right hand grip rule for a current carrying solenoid, which states that if a coil carrying current is held in the right hand such that the fingers encircle the loop 
while pointing in the direction of current, then the thumb will point in the direction of North Pole. This one can be illustrated by using this diagram here. If you have a solenoid and you have this one as your soft magnetic material, soft magnetic material, which is placed inside this solenoid, and then current is flowing in that direction that like you can see on the screen. Then in this case, if you grasp using your right hand, this is your right hand, if you grasp using your right hand in such a way that now the fingers are pointing in the direction of current in the solenoid, then now your thumb will point in the direction of the North Pole. This rule is very important because it's going to help us to identify, and it's the only one which is used to identify the polarities of an electromagnet which is formed. So let's handle a few questions concerning electromagnets. The question reads, complete the diagram below and identify the polarities of A and B. So completing the diagram in this case, they mean they want us to show the direction of current in this solenoid and the wire in this case. So here we have a battery and this battery, the current will flow from the positive terminal to the negative terminal through the wire. So here current will flow out like that. Then here it will move behind this uh, soft ion, this soft ion or a soft magnetic material. So here behind this soft, it will move up, then in front down, in front down, up, back, in front down, then front down, up, back, like that, front down, up, back, then uh, front down, like that, and then it goes back to the negative terminal. So in this case, we have completed the diagram. And now the second part of the question is to identify the polarities of A and B. I would like you to handle all to grasp this solenoid carrying current in such a way that your fingers are pointing in the direction of current. So in this case, you can grasp it in a way that the fingers in front here are facing down. And then where is your thumb pointing? The, your thumb is pointing toward the direction where we have B. So this one will be North Pole, where the thumb is pointing will be your North Pole. Then automatically this one will become South Pole. South Pole. So in this case, we will come and say point A is South Pole then point B is North Pole. So the temporary magnet which is formed, or the electromagnet which is formed, B is the uh, North Pole, and then A is the South Pole. So the second question, complete the diagram below so that point A acquires North Pole while B acquires South Pole. So in this case, for you to complete this one first, you have to identify the direction of current in this wire this current is going to originate from the positive terminal through the wire to the negative terminal. So here it's going to originate from that point there. Then now it will flow through the solenoid which we want to draw shortly. Then now it will end at the south pole like that. Then now for you to make this end B to become south pole, therefore in this case you have to grasp. Can you grasp this uh, soft ion let's call it a soft ion in such a way that a points or the thumb points towards point a because they want this one to be north pole and this one they want it to be south pole now can you grasp that that your thumb points towards point a if you grasp like in, in a way that the thumb points to point a you will realize in front the fingers are pointing up so you have to make this as uh, solenoid or you have to draw a solenoid along this uh, a soft ion in such a way that the current in front is flowing up. So for you to do that, then point B here where we are starting, we must draw a current in, in a way that it starts by moving up in front, moving up in front, then back moving down, moving up in front, back down, then moving up in front, back down, in front up, back down, then in front current is moving up, the back is moving down, also here like that, and then back down, and it will proceed to the negative terminal. Then in this case, you will indicate the 
are with arrows how current is flowing in this conductor or in this solenoid then after this as you can see if you grasp this one the fingers in front are moving up back they are moving down the thumb is pointing towards point a so in this case you have made this one to be north pole and then this one to be south pole as simple as that so that will mark the end of our lesson today in the next lesson we will discuss factors affecting the strength of an electromagnet which is formed